Hi, I'm Vonna Thomas. I'm the interim head pastor here at Newport Presbyterian Church. I love interim ministry. It's something that I have focused on and felt called to do. It's a season of transition uh, for congregations and there's lots of opportunities. There's uh, seasons of saying goodbye to former pastors so there can be grief uh, as well. Um, but it's truly a season of transition where lots of emotions are at play and there's opportunity, there's hope for what God is doing and what God will be doing and how God is calling the congregation uh, in preparation uh, for the new season of their life together. Well, part of this transition is also a trans transition with our staff, with the office administrator. So a few months ago, we had hired Zach Calvo, and he was wonderful. He came in, um, he helped us um, uh, kind of update to the 21st century uh, with some software programs that really helped with our planning. So we, we love Zach, we were sad to see him go, but uh, as you will hear in the interview that will follow, um, he has a wonderful opportunity. He is or, an ordained pastor, so this is an opportunity he could not pass up. And we're also very excited uh, to have Rosie Ozuna join us. And in just a moment, you're going to be hearing and seeing them as I ask some questions of them off screen. So without further ado, I will let you see Zach and Rosie. Zach, it's been great having you here with us these past few months and you have made such a huge impact just in this short time. So of course, we're really sad to see you go, but at the same time, we're happy for you. But tell us a little bit about your dream, your dream for the future and this opportunity you have and, and any parting words that you have for us. Yeah, of course. So. Um, I'll just say a little bit about what I'm moving on to. So I'm sort of doing two different things. So one, I am working with a new worshiping community of the PCUSA called Coastline Commons. And we um, meet once a month for a meal and usually a theological conversation or we have some sort of creative practice. So I was ordained to that in uh, January. So that's one thing that I have. And the second is that I'm also just starting to work at Northminster Presbyterian with more hours working with youth and community engagement. So that's what I'm moving on to. And Newport has been a really great home for me for the past couple of months. And I just feel really appreciative and grateful of how wonderful everyone has been with me and have enjoyed getting the office up and running and, um, things like that, those tasks. And um, parting words, uh, let's see here. I think something that I'm really thinking about right now for the future of the church and not just Newport, but what, what does it mean to be the church in Seattle and in our current time and sort of social moment. And I really feel like one of the most important things that we can do as Presbyterians and Christians is to be really engaged with our communities and uh, really think about how what we do in worship flows into our community so that doesn't get stuck on Sundays because I think it would be really easy and it's easy for me to think what we do on Sundays in worship is the most important thing and it is important but it also informs sort of what flows out into our communities and how we engage the world. So that's something that I feel really committed to and called to, and I hope that for Newport as well. Oh, thank you so much. Beautiful words, and it's been a delight getting to know you, and, and that will continue uh, con be staying connected. Yes, so blessings to you. Thank you. I had you join our office team. Now we know you're originally from the Dominican Republic and you moved here when, at 14, yes. was that? Yes. So we want to get to know you just a little bit more. So I have some questions, some fun, some serious. You're currently a student at Bellevue College. What's been your favorite class in school, either at Bellevue College or elsewhere? Um, my favorite class at Bellevue College was English 201 um, because um, the teacher made the 
in the class very fun and during the whole semester I was able to write about my nonprofit organization so that was fun because I was able to put my future goals into words so oh that's wonderful yeah. great okay what's your favorite color my favorite color is light blue you can see all my right nose. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your favorite food my favorite food is lasagna Italian oh. food and see that was a surprise to me so just everyone knows we are going to go out to lunch on Wednesday to celebrate you coming on and then sadly saying goodbye to Zach and we are going to a place with lasagna. Great. Do you have a personal hero or, or is there a certain person that's inspired you? Uh, yes, there's two. My mom and my brother because they are hardworking people. Um, they never give up and they, whatever they put their mind to, they, they go for it. So those are my two heroes. Oh, that's great. I mean, hardworking, tenacity, that's, that's wonderful. So what's a skill that you've learned when you were young that you still use today? Um, so in high school, I was able to take a typing class. So that I still use right now, you know, <laughs> since high school, so I still use. Mm -hmm. that's, that that's excellent. Skill. What's the most valuable piece of career advice that you've been given? Um, at my internship, my um, advisor, she told me never give up and she said uh, always build relationship, that's very important. So whoever you meet, just try to build relationship. And that's great advice for all of us. What's your dream for your future? Tell us a little bit about this nonprofit. Oh uh, yes, <laughs> my dream is to have my own nonprofit organization. Um, the name is Overcoming Language Barriers and what we're going to do, we're going to help young women and single moms. Um, so we're going to educate them so they can learn the language English mm -hmm. and provide them with tutors and books and stuff, everything they need so they can learn the language and be successful. That's wonderful. Oh, blessings on you and blessings on your, this uh, nonprofit that you'll be leading. And so we want to just welcome you. We're just so excited that you're here. So, welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs>